everyone, it's James from The Fit RV, and I'm here today to talk to you about weighing your RV. Now this is something that's actually really important and that not enough people do. So why is it important? Well, there's several reasons, but they all come down to safety. Let's say you've got a smaller Class C rig, you know, a, a lot of those come from the manufacturer very close to being overweight. Weighing your RV is the only way to know if you're really overweight on the vehicle as a whole or on an axle. Um, another reason that's important is tire pressure. Now, if you want to set the tire pressure in your rig properly, you're going to need weight information to do that. And I've actually written a whole post on that process, and I'll put it down in the uh, YouTube description below. You can find it on thefitrv.com. The third reason why it's important has to do with towing. If you want to know how much you can tow with your, with your rig, you need to know your vehicle's weight in order to do that. And I've also got a post that I've written about towing, and you can find that again down below or on thefitrv.com. So we know weighing your rig is important for safety, so why don't more people do it? Well, it's kind of intimidating. Usually you've got to go to like a truck stop or something, you know, and there you're playing with the big boys, right? And if you roll up in a 45-foot Class A and you're still the smallest rig there, that's, that'll make you nervous because they don't actually print an instruction manual on this anywhere. Well, good news. Thanks to uh, modern technology, there are now, there's now a way to weigh your rig without having to get intimidated. And to, uh, to help show that, we've got my lovely assistant, Stephanie. Come on out, Steph. Yes. Is this necessary? Well, I Googled lovely assistant, and this is kind of what came up. So hmm. there you go. Right. Anyway, Steph is actually going to weigh our rig, and she's going to do it with the help of something that most of us have in our pockets, and that's a smartphone. No, do it like we talked about. <sighs> this is so ridiculous. There you go. So we're going to use our cell phones here, and here, hold this, please. Okay, Mr. Barker. All right, so we're gonna, and we're gonna use an app on the phone from the cat scale people. They're the people that make the truck stop scales. It's called Weigh My Truck, and I should have that app on the phone. Oh yeah, right there. So that's the app we're gonna use, but don't do what I did the first time, and that's try to set the app up while you're there, in line at the scales with semis in front of you. That's a recipe for disaster. Yeah, or a tantrum. There was no tantrum. Um, that was a re that, anyway, don't do that. It's best to set the app up ahead of time, and it's even easier if you can do that using a computer. There are a couple of quirks in setting the app up that we, uh, that we discovered, so we're going to go inside and show you those. All right, after you. Thank you. Okay, now I've mentioned that you'll need to download the uh, Way My Truck app in order to make this work. But you'll also need to set up an account in order to get that app working. And I found it's just easier to do that at a computer. So to do that, you'll go to weighmytruck.com. There it is. There it is. Um, now, we've all set up accounts before. I'm not going to talk everybody through that. But a few things to note. One, you're going to want to use a real email address, not spam at spam.com or something like that. The reason why is that it's going to email you a PDF of your weight slip to that email address. You don't even have to go inside. Nice. So that's one. Number two is look for the confirmation email. You're going to have to confirm that email address before it'll let you continue with the registration. And you're speaking from experience there. Oh, I got a snarky assistant there. <laughs> Maybe you should pay me more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the third thing is if you're going, you'll have to set up a payment method. It'll cost between $10 and $15 each time you weigh. Um, and you can do that on the computer. But if you're going to use American Express, you have to set that up through PayPal for some reason. Um, it's not clear from the website or the app that you have to do that. And it resulted in a call to them. And then yes, yeah, so we got called or card decline, card declined, and we didn't know why. Even had to call Amex to figure it out. But anyway, yeah. that's why. So once you've got the app, and you've got an account, then you'll need to locate a cat scale. Conveniently, there's another app for that. It's called Cat Scale Locator. So download that app, allow it access to your location, and use it to locate any one of the literally hundreds of cat scale locations all across North America and Canada. And once you've found one, then it's time to go load your RV. So here's the part where it really pays to have a lovely assistant. Um, you need to load your RV 
in the manner that you would if you were actually going out on a trip. In fact, it's actually better to do this as you're headed out on an RV trip because then you're guaranteed to have everything with you that you normally take. Because you want a worst case weight here. You, if you normally bring a cooler, bring the cooler. If you normally bring a spouse, bring the spouse. Cat, bring the cat. Anything that you normally take, you're gonna wanna bring. You're also gonna wanna make sure you've got full fresh water tanks if you ever travel with those. Um, and you probably, when I used to do this in uh, DOS Bus, I would even fill the black and gray water tanks. I'll leave it to your imagination how you'd go about filling those. But the idea here is you want a worst case weight, something you're never gonna go over them because we're doing this for safety. So once you've got everything loaded, it's time to uh, hit the road and drive to that cat scale. Okay, we're all loaded up, we're headed to the Flying J. Now when you get there, just take your place in line at the cat scale behind whoever's there. And if there's no one there, you can drive right on to the scale. Now when you drive onto the scale, you're gonna to wanna to pay attention, depending on how many axles your vehicle has, you're gonna to wanna to pay attention to make sure you stop with your axles in the right places, because there are different segments to the scale. Okay, once you're on the scale, open the app. Got it. And it should find the location of the scale that you're at. Has yes, it found it? Yes, it did. Okay, at that point you hit accept. Okay, I'm hitting accept. It says, please wait, communicating with scale equipment. Okay. Okay. Then it, prevents you with, it presents you with a confirmation of your company and trailer name. You'll have to pick a name for your rig when you sign up, which we have done. Okay. Go ahead and hit accept here as well. Okay, hitting accept a second time. Oh, it wants me to ent the trail enter the trailer number, so I guess I can just go with one. One is fine. Okay, so it does want a trailer number. Okay, I hit accept. Okay, the fee is 1150, so we're gonna go ahead and hit accept. Okay, please wait. Waiting for a Waymaster authorization, it says. Once they uh, hit go on the scale, we'll be good to go. And just that easy, it's done. It's given us our weight right here in the app. Awesome, and we get a steer axle and a drive axle and a gross. Yep, so with that, it's safe to go ahead and drive off the scale. And with that, we're done. So I should have received an email, oh, assistant. You did, you received your email, cat scale guarantee. So there we go. You should receive an email with an image of your weigh slip on there. And now you know how much your RV weighs. And it should have it split out like a total and then individual axes as well. So that's it. And I think that's it. <coughs> I was promised a Starbucks for wearing this dress, so. Looks like I'm going to Starbucks. Um, everybody, weigh your RVs and we'll see you out there on the road. Bye now.